Hi, it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning for Wedding and Event Planners. Today's tip is be sure your caterer orders the right amount of food, especially if it's a seated dinner. So here was the situation. I was early on in my career, and I really didn't understand the importance of looking at other vendors' quotes. I thought to myself, the caterer has been doing this a lot longer than I've been doing this. Why would I need to look over their information? However, realizing I'm the planner and a bride is hiring me to look over everything and make sure that everything is perfect, I should have known. So as the entree is coming out, there's steak, there was supposed to be a skewer of shrimp on top of every piece of steak. Unless, of course, the bride had told me that someone didn't eat seafood or they had an allergy. But if you were at a complete table with no shrimp, you would have noticed that you didn't have that, but everyone else had that, especially if you don't have a seafood allergy and especially if you wanted the shrimp. So I noticed this very quickly that some of the plates didn't have that and I went back and asked the caterer and you could tell they were sweating in the kitchen, it was crazy busy. You know how it is behind the scenes at a wedding. When you're trying to get the food out and keep it hot and the guests are waiting and the bride's eager to move on, things are just stressful. And the caterer acted really funny towards me and said, I don't know how to tell you this, but I have multiple events going on this weekend and somehow some of the shrimp went to a different event and it's not close by and I don't know what to do. And so being a pretty quick thinker, on my feet, I thought to myself, what's around? Because at this time, apps didn't exist. I didn't have an iPhone. I didn't have around me to figure out, well, where can we go to get shrimp? What, what can we do? But I did know that there was a Shoney's at the bottom of the hill. So the caterer sent someone from the catering staff, ran down to the bottom of the hill. They didn't have any broiled shrimp. They had fried shrimp. So what they do, they bought all the fried shrimp, brought it back up the hill. We sat there and picked the breading off in the back, me and my staff included, and then they served the shrimp. So very quickly, I had to think on my feet for another vendor. So again, make sure that you always double check and always over communicate, especially if you have multiple events in a weekend, be sure that you double check everything. And what did I learn from that? I learned that me personally, when we plan multiple events in a weekend, and we can because we have the amazing team to do it, is be sure that you assign a specific person to the specific event and they're overseeing that event. And don't take too many jobs in a weekend if you really can't handle it. It compromises customer service. And unfortunately, that's what happened to that caterer. She took too many jobs that weekend and she learned her lesson too. I don't think the bride and the family ever really realized what happened, which is the good thing. Another reason that you should hire a professional planner. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.